but I don't know. Hey, hey, goodness. Look out. Morning, everybody. Chad, at the farms. It's cold, again. 19 degrees with a feels like of six. That's five, but it's six. Five plus one, you get it, yep. What do you guys think of that springtime? That's my springtime office. It's looking a little frigid. We are getting ready to talk to my buddies at Haas Tools. If you guys didn't know, they sponsor our channel. Here's what I love about Haas. Now, I've been down there and visited them. Case and I went down and saw them. I'm gonna tag a video down below. And some things have changed at Haas, but the main focus is it's family run, it's family oriented. You know, I can text and call Greg, the owner. Hi buddy. I can text and call Greg anytime I want. Um, Mrs. Haas follows me on social media, just like you guys do to keep up with the boys and just an amazing, amazing family. They actually picked us up as a sponsor and we only had 700 subs and i got a text from haas a message one day um kind of hooked up through my buddy jason at cog hill hang on a minute i'm talking to the people I just got a text from haas one day and they were like hey we'd love to chat with you guys we love what we're doing let us send you some seeds and uh the rest is history it's uh just a good family run place and can't thank them enough for their support over the last couple years and definitely looking forward to getting that garden started. We say dog. We say dog. He's busy this morning. You're busy this morning. Here. There you go. Oh. Oh. Dog on it. Get it dog on it. Back up. They're all three right there. Yep. If the people don't see you eat all four, I get in trouble. You know what I'm saying? Uh oh, no. Okay. Whew. I don't know if you guys know this, but if Smokey gets a glove, you're not getting it back. You're not. By the way, I need to look at this. Somebody said these are goat skin. I know, right? <laughs> I know. They're your buddies. These aren't your buddies. I don't, these are probably fake. I don't know. Are they even real goat? Probably fake goat. What do you say? Huh? Huh? What do you say? What do you say? We have to wrestle first. I don't remind you guys all the time, but I need to tell you that on Mondays which is today, I know you guys are seeing us on Tuesday or Wednesday, Smokey doesn't usually see me on the weekends because Grandpa does the chores. So on Mondays, I just get the full body hugs. We have to wrestle, we have to play. And even though this looks like 10, 15 seconds on camera, it's usually a good 30 minutes. I have a huge head and they can't even see my head because yours is in the way. Nancy, Nancy, Nancy. I don't know why she chews on gloves. Hey, hey, goodness. Look out. Look out, I gotta tighten screws on the tripod, hang on. Look out. Look out, goats. Curly, Mo, Larry, or maybe it's Larry, Mo and Curly, I don't know. A little warmer today. A little bit warmer. Look at all those chickens. Not sure what I'm gonna do with homie yet, but I know what we are gonna do. Out of like five or 600 comments, I might get one or two that, that just prove there's people out there that don't have a clue what they're talking about. <laughs> but sometimes those comments say, man, you do the same thing every single time. You know, come up with something new. What? Come up with something new. I'm filming the chores. It's called Adler Farms. What do you mean come up with something new? So anyway, the reason I do that, the reason I walk you guys through my day, and I know 99.9% .9 of you, you like that? I'm, I'm stretched out. I'm, I'm emphatic about this. You guys love seeing this every day, and you watch it every day no matter what. So the reason I show you this and I talk about everything, while well, these animals yell at me and get more and more hungry, is because I mentioned getting rid of homie and one of y'all said why would you do that wait and make sure that these roosters rooster one and rooster two 
are nice before you get rid of a rooster you already know is nice. He's never harmed these ladies. No, none of them run from him. Super docile. And cream leg bars and Lakeshore eggers can get a little rowdy. So we should absolutely wait. We should absolutely wait, Smoke. I'm Batman. Tiggle one, tiggle two. Bird herd. Lucius, what's up, buddy? What's up? You gonna run? Are you gonna run? Huh? Look out! Look out! So, so to the one or two people that mentioned, make sure you don't give away a good rooster just because you want pretty eggs. Look out! I appreciate it. That was a great idea. And that's why I tell you guys my ideas. Hang on, Smoke. We got Sky Carp. Canadian chickens. This is another funny story. Some of you guys are like, those Canadian chickens, they're not called Canadian geese because they're from Canada. Okay, sorry. Call them what I want. Hey, pig, pig. Hey, pig, pig, pig. Hey, pig, pig, pig. Goodness. He's now bigger than Lola. That's a big deal. That's a real big deal. Yeah. Let's feed you. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. You gotta turn around, ladies and gent. Ground's frozen solid. No risk of parasites. I looked it up. I guarantee somebody, Captain Encyclopedia, will come on here. Actually, the, 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 the parasite can grow anywhere. Thrives in sub-freezing temperatures. <sighs> Teacher, you forgot to assign homework. You're that kid. You're that kid. You are. Nobody likes that kid, Smoke. Nobody. Man, y'all hear something? What is that? No, he's not doing it. There we go. <laughs> it doesn't work if you don't play the part, man. Man. Grandpa, Hercules. Take it easy on this chain. These are goats, not camels. Woo! Nope. Nope. Listen, Nancy. No, look, I was going to give you more food because it's cold. But clearly... You are not behaving. This is hard to do one hand with a tripod, Nancy. He just, he did. He stuck me and then he jumped up. He did. You did. Watch out. My oh, goodness. Uno, dos, tres. Whew. I have no idea why I'm goats. No idea. Here's a full grown cream leg bar, by the way. Very slick, that's sassy. I call every cream leg bar sassy because they sing the egg laying song all day, every day, twice on Sundays. I've shared this story before, but when we lived in the city, we were allowed to have chickens, <clears throat> but not a rooster. But my neighbor called animal control because I had a six cream leg bars they're just noisy and of course my neighbor being city he didn't know that you know roosters don't sound like that apparently it's a completely different noise i know i've told it before hang on it's a good story my neighbor actually put in some kind of gazebo deck thing and he played his music too loud so i called and told on him he got a ticket so he called and tried to get me in trouble for my chickens jokes on him because there was no rooster and animal control actually Looked me up on YouTube and figured out there was no rooster. So anyway, long time ago, but funny story. If you want noisy chickens, get cream leg bars. Some pretty blue eggs, but whew, noisy. All right, Red. Here's the deal. That's not too bad. I wonder how that. Huh. 
Here's the deal. I'm either gonna get a red bourbon tom or a black Spanish tom. We have not had, we have not had great success with black Spanish toms. So what if we get a red one that looks like you? Does that sound all right? I'm trying to make amends here. I'm trying to I'm trying to make it right. We can do it. Okay. You and I, we're gonna make this work. We're gonna make people happy. You got an official pardon. Let's make some baby turkeys. Not me and you, but you know what I mean. Is that okay? I don't know why she doesn't like me. No, no, no. Hang on. Listen. Listen, Nancy. Whoa. 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 That go Smokey, did you see that? Goodness. Uh-oh. Rooster. Wow. That's not a, that's sassy. What's her deal? What in the world? I'd love to throw her in there. She's like a two and a half year old bird and I just don't think she's gonna put up with old buddy. Whew. Hey, should I go get my sledgehammer? <laughs> Man, what a goober. Can't believe I did that. Man, look at Foghorn Leghorn over there. My goodness, buddy. <laughs> the chicken's on the juice now. Yeah. Listen, bud. I've never seen a cream leg bar rooster, but I bet Sassy whip your hiney. Yep. You should probably stick with the young gals. Man, look at that pinna de cinca. Beautiful bird. Now, if you're wanting a lot of eggs, don't get pinna de cincas. They're tiny little adorable chocolate brown ones. But they're little. If you want a lot of eggs, get you one of her or one of her. Cream Leg Bar Lakeshore Egger. That one right there, that one right there. Tons of eggs. Giant green eggs right there, huge. Medium sized blue eggs, but a lot of them. You ever feel like you're being watched? Maybe it was gonna happen. It's gonna happen one of these days. Now some of you guys pointed out too, roosting bars we have, which are branches, are not good for chickens because they actually don't like to roost on those. They prefer a two by four with the four side facing up, which is not actually four, it's three and a half. But they don't curl around a branch like birds do. My only thing is, chickens were in the wild before we domesticated them. And I don't believe they were sleeping on two by fours in the woods. I think they were sleeping on branches. My birds are perfectly fine on their branches and that's where they're gonna stay. Right, ladies? Yep. Man, gr Grandpa's got y'all spoiled. Absolutely spoiled. That's okay though. I like it. That's probably why you're so friendly, buddy. You see grandpa coming in here and taking care of your birds and you know, I'm part of the equation, so. Hey, take it easy. You know, I'm part of the equation, so you tolerate me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Is that 17 plus one turkey? I think so. Man, look at Batman's waddle. And he and Lola on the same diet plan. A seafood diet, smoke. A seafood, eat it. Oh wait, we do have a chicken back here, so. 18 plus one. How you doing? We gotta start looking back there too, because grandpa said he found one. So we wanna make sure we don't miss any. Whew. But there is nothing wrong with this roosting setup. They lay eggs, they're happy, they're healthy, nobody's sick. I do not believe they would be happier with a two by four. There we go. It's a barred rock. You get these a lot of your big box stores. 
New Hampshire red. We have a Rhode Island red, which she is the one in the nesting box because she's got a funny looking feathers on her neck. So I know she's not out here. You'd be able to tell she's the difference. Who's that? Oh, that's Magneto. Woo. Look out, ladies. Turkey, turkey. Somebody said my camera sounded funny. I, I'm not I'm not being negative. I'm just addressing things. I love chatting with you guys. That makes it easy to come out here and do what I do. So when you say ignore the naysayers, I know some of you are just encouraging me to go about my life. But these aren't all naysayers. They're just sharing their thoughts and opinions, and that's fine. They're entitled to be wrong as much as I'm entitled to be right. I'd say vice versa, but this is my farm, so I'm always right. <laughs> Until I hit the ice tank with a sledgehammer. But I didn't hit it with the axe blade. What do you think, Smoke? Huh? What do you say? Sorry, I had to stop for a smoke. <laughs> I had to stop for a picture of Smokey, rather. I don't smoke. Okay, maybe one time in high school, my buddies found some C-I-G-A-R-S from the gas station. Don't get too excited. I thought we were so cool. Canadian geese, straight out of Canada. Let's go <clears throat> check on the Highlands. See how they're doing. We did fix their water situation for now. They're all standing right at the gate waiting on me. We did fix their water situation for now. I do like your guys' idea of using a heat gun or a wood burning kit or a soldering kit to mend this plastic. And in high school, I did a little body work on cars and we did that then too. Like some of your fenders on cars and trucks, any whatever brand, when you get a little scuff, you can actually just heat it up and uh, it makes all the scuffs go away. It's just how it is. So that's what we're gonna try. We're waiting patiently but not gonna try it today. So this is hilarious because I told my dad, I was like, let's try and not make them like the beefy boys where when they hear us, they come stand <laughs> and wait for cubes. Let's try and not do that. But we, we feed them so much, but I wouldn't have it any other way. So I know that means they're healthy and I know that means they're more, more tame maybe. Definitely more docile, how about that? Let's get in here and feed and then we'll mess with their water. Grandpa did move the two before. Morning boy and girls, how y'all doing? Tessie, Fredo, Junebug. Y'all ready? Do you guys get plenty of food? Sure do. All right, let's, uh, I'm not gonna feed him by hand this morning. I'm gonna reserve that for later. Watch Fred button hook all the way around me to this side of the bucket. And I'm gonna come in here. Fred's tracking, he's got a beat on me. Hey -oh. Woo! Bucket. Looking good this morning. Hi, pretty lady. Hi. I really want to get that off his face if he'll let me, but I'm watching these. You guys are right, these are growing like crazy. I don't know if it's from the hay or what. Got it. Appreciate you. Thanks for not sticking me. J. 
June is on the other side of Fred. So I got a feeling any second she's coming this way. Yep, there it is. clear their water so I went and got us a shallower tub Boop. Oh, that fence is really low that's one downside to this wire is when it gets wet and then heats back up or it freezes or whatever it expands and contracts a lot so, it's supposed to be 50 degrees today, 5-0. So, I'm not going to take the ice out. It's also only like a quarter inch thick. I doubt they can even reach this, but I'll do it anyway. Man, a bunch of honkers today. I guess Fred can reach that. I know the girls can, I've seen them do it, but it's gotta be getting close. Let me back up so they all have room to get around it if they want. She just goosed him. <laughs> Tessie, what'd you think about that? Huh? You know, when I chose June at the farm, Grandpa gave me first pick, and I chose June, and she'll barely come near me. Tessie's just lovey-dovey as can be. I don't get it. Big boy's moving out. Tessie's still looking for treats. <laughs> Good girl, you're all right. So what I was saying, <clears throat> and I didn't quite finish my thought, is the fence is really low in some spots, which isn't necessarily a bad thing because these guys are not as tall as the beefy boys were and never will be, but over there, my dad said it's like, they can step over it. It's that low. And that just happens. They make these tensioners. I'll show you guys here in a second. And I can just tighten those tensioners in certain spots. Eventually those tensioners, you know, it's like a belt. They only hold, not a belt, like a turnbuckle. They only hold so much string. So you can't just keep cranking on them all winter. But you can always cut your line and crank that. Nope. You can always cut your line and put a new one in and then crank it. So maybe what we'll have to do, we'll go take a look at it. We are gonna have to turn the fence off though, but I don't think they're a flight risk whatsoever. Oh yeah, it is really low. Wow. They're not a flight risk anymore. They got plenty to eat. I think the reason Fred bailed once or twice was we essentially trained him that the wire around that little feeding area he had when we had the beefy boys wasn't hot. I mean, it's my fault. And then the other side of that was when Fred was here with the beefy boys by himself, the beefy boys, if, if they saw him eating good grass, they would go push him off and chase him. 
this still isn't too bad. I'll show you what I mean here in a minute. It's really low over here. Like the top strand's almost touching the bottom. And those, for those of you curious, I don't have a weight on Wilma yet. Mr. G is going to smoke some of that meat for us. And uh, like I said, he processes his own animals, or his own pigs anyway. So pretty excited about that. I'm gonna trade him some beef from the beefy boys. A lot of you guys ask if we're gonna get another Wilma. I do plan, I don't know if Mr. G will want her or not, but I think from this litter, especially Lola and Han's litter, I'm gonna keep one for us. And if it's a boy, we'll castrate him and go that route, but pretty excited. But we'll keep one regardless. That way you guys can watch that whole process again. And listen, I don't know what to tell you guys, but you gotta give creators a break. You gotta give farmers a break. I don't care what you wanna call me. I mean, out of 600 comments, I had two that said they were gonna unsubscribe because we process Wilma. Now I'm gonna get 700 comments encouraging how we treated Wilma. You guys are absolutely blitzing the people who say negative things. And sometimes I don't think those negative comments are from people who even watch the channel. I don't. I think they see one video and they think, oh, Smokey's cold. Oh, get her inside, get her inside. You guys called it and I knew it. Smokey would destroy, she'd chew a hole through the wall if we brought her inside to get back outside. And the same goes with a pig. It's a farm. That's what we do, guys. I mean, 50, 60 years ago, this was everywhere, okay? Everywhere. This was done all over the place. You know, it's just now coming back to being more well-known or more a way of life. You know, last year when there were some, let's call them shortages, guess who everybody was friends with? The man with the eggs, y'all with the beef. Oh yeah, I mean, I had friends I didn't know I had. Hey man, you got chicken still? I really love some eggs. Well, I spared what I could, but those are my, those are for my family, man. Yeah, wow, this is way down. It's actually pretty impressive, but this is right in front of mom and dad's house. <clears throat> so Fred is super curious as to what I'm doing. But here's how we're gonna tighten this, because it's not too bad. And you'd be surprised what, well, I didn't even show it, it's not even a frame. You'd be surprised what a couple of uh, laps around this little fence clip are. Here, hang on, I gotta set the camera down. All right, and just like that, the top rope is in better shape with just a couple wraps around that fence tie, fence clip, T-post clip, I don't know. But here is what we can do with the bottom one. I try to have these on every run that's over about 50 feet, but that's even getting a little taut. But Gallagher sponsors my channel. Link is always down below. You get 10% off. I sincerely appreciate Gallagher. I could not do this without you guys. There's actually a big piece of equipment coming in, unrelated to me, unrelated to the farm for Mr. G. And they need to take it across the pasture right here, which that's where we used to have shrimp, an old steer we had, and Wilma. So he's not gonna disrupt very much, but if this was barbed wire, you know, could it be done? Absolutely. Is it a pain in the neck? 100%. With this, I can literally, and I'll go ahead and do it right here so we don't have like an extra splice, but we can literally, I can either undo that, or I can just cut it, take it down, he can cut right across the field to his house, and no harm, no foul, all because of this. Again, just tightening this up a little bit. Just tightening it up. I'm probably gonna go on foot all the way around this bad boy. Just to make sure. Yeah, I see the bottom one right here is a little bit loose again. I know it's crooked. This ain't Hollywood production. It's easier than it looked. My hands are just frozen, but you can't do it in gloves. They're too slick. I'm actually only wrapping these ropes just one time around their corner post and that's what's making them tight the thing about these tensioners these white ones or any of them for that matter when it's cold think of them like my sledgehammer and my water barrel 
you can turn them too much. And that'd be all she wrote. Just be mindful of that. It's like this one's got quite a few turns left in it. That'll really help moving down the line there. You can always twist this around here too. But see on this bottom one, if I were to twist this around here just to make it tighter both ways, I've got a, a, a tensioner down there that you just saw me tighten. And once you tie this around here and it can't move freely back and forth, your tensioner is only good from this post to the next post. Whereas right now, it's good all the way to the end. Is what it is. But we'll go down here. Check all the way around. Get any debris, all that stuff out of there. And some people ask us why we didn't do this part right here. It's because there's more deadfalls over here for some reason. Just always is. I mean, none of that was there when we put the fence up. Even just that right there can take your fence charge, pulse. Even that can take it down a notch. You really want to tighten from your corners. If you tighten every single post, you have to do it on every single post. So I call these like support posts. They're just holding the line in place. And I can always come down here to my post I pull from and make it tighter. Oh yeah, we can tighten this up a lot. Getting my steps in this morning. My watch is gonna be proud of me. Still looking into this over here. Just pray about it. Let's see. No foreshadow, I don't have any insight. Still just weighing my options. You guys like, like the sound of my footsteps better or the four-wheeler? What do y'all want to bet? Place your bets down below. Not those kind of bets. This is family friendly channel. Whew, lips are frozen. How long until Fred climbs in there? Place your dates down below. Let's go number of days. How many days? So, and I'll be honest, I'll tell you guys when it happens. Of course I'll be honest, but you know what I mean. Whew. Fence is back on. She's standing right there by it. That wire you see sagging right there isn't hot, so I'm not worried about it. Mm. She ain't gonna turn. She got an itch. It's amazing to me how they find things to eat, even when it's this cold. I mean, she's just crushing grass. I know there's not many nutrients in there. You guys have over-educated me on that, but it's just funny. And as warm as it gets here, I don't know. There might be something in there for her. But as long as she's content, I don't mind. No more food, lady. Done today. Well, Grandpa might have some more for you later. All right. It's Fred. Always watching. Always watching me. Speaking of, we say 4-1. And by the way, whatever, whatever names I use for any of the animals, it's just hard to keep track when you're going. And I know there's only three cows. I, I know, I know. 4-1. Is Tessie. Three seven is June. Okay, then we got Lola, Leia, and Han. Whole bunch of chickens. A few turkeys. A dog, and I don't know what else. Whatever else shows up there, I just feed it. Goats. Yeah, I can't forget about the goats. I hit my step count today. My watch is gonna be proud of me. All right, I'm gonna go inside, make some eggs. Eat a little Vienna sausage. <laughs> actually, steak and eggs is one of my favorite meals. And I actually prefer it with stew meat. So I had quite a bit of stew meat, probably more than most people, made up from the Beefy Boys. But 
Again, it's grass-fed stew meat. It's delicious. I'm going to go make me some stew meat and eggs. See you guys after a while. I sincerely appreciate each and every single one of you guys. Uh, the day you're seeing this is the 11th. Tomorrow, the 12th, is our two-year anniversary. We've been on YouTube for two years. It's been an incredible journey. Can't thank you all enough for being here, um, especially that guy right there. Just, just an awesome dude, awesome dude, awesome family. But anyway, I'm going to enjoy some food. Oh, and we got, got some new shirts. I'll link all that down below. Link my man Jason's channel down below. Uh, how about our first video ever? I'll put that right down in the description, okay? Y'all be good. Don't work too hard. Don't make it weird. God bless. Dude.